Okay, so we got something new here for you today. This is a new prototype type of blade here that you may or may not have seen on YouTube. But it is being made by a fellow by the name of John Cavley. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. K-A-V-L-I. And he's got his own channel. And I will link to that channel. And I'm sure I'm putting the link up on the screen right now. The link on will be in the description. Go check him out and ask him the questions because he is the one making these. I don't believe these are ready for sale yet. I don't think he's selling them yet. Um, as you can see right here, right on the blade there, I don't know if you can see it, but it says prototype. Um, this is just an idea he has and is definitely unique. These are for brush cutting. You put them on your regular, regular kind of lawnmower and it makes them into a kind of a brush hog. Now it's crazy to have these winglets on here like this, but uh, if you look at his videos, he's just put them on a regular Husqvarna garden tractor, and it's cutting like like the cheetah cuts. Um, really, not not missing a whole lot as he goes by. Um, now you might be thinking, as I thought, that those winglets have to go up and not down, but very, very clearly says grass side. So this side down, winglets down. And in fact, uh, you might be thinking, well, I'll just try it with the winglets up anyway. But that's not really gonna work because if you flip the blade over, it'll be cut in the other direction and the blunt end will be hitting the grass. So these are meant to have those winglets down. And let's just look around these. Now the blades, this is something I asked him. Say this one is sharpened on the top. This side of this blade. Look over to the other side. It's actually sharpened on the bottom. Right down to the winglet. And I asked him about this and he was saying it's basically the idea behind a saw blade and binding uh, sharpening opposite directions as they go by so it doesn't bind and if it was really thick really wet stuff I think that that would kind of come into play and dry stuff not so much but it also has look at this it has a little bit of an arc to it and they all have that all three of them so it's not like just a fluke uh, we're here there we go See there? So I don't know what's going on there. I just noticed that. And I think that has something to do with making up for the height of cut um, being kind of changed a bit by the uh, winglet facing down because otherwise it'd be facing so far down that, well, what would you do with that? Anyway, it also has the wing on the top to provide some kind of lift, suction and out the chute, I hope. Um, how it's going to work, I don't know. It works pretty good for him, from what I, I'm seeing. Now, we're going to be putting these on the Cheetah. These are 21 inch. He asked me what size, and I told him what size, and he made a custom set of blades for me, and uh, sent them all the way from Australia. So, gosh, let's go play. You know, what I'm going to be doing is putting them on the Cheetah. Now, everybody knows that the Cheetah does pretty darn good all by itself, even with regular stock blades it pretty much cuts the thick stuff so I mean it might cut even better and it might be crazy with these blades so let's go put them on and see how they look and see I don't know let's go check it out okay so there they are they're on there and let me uh, talk about a few things if you can see way over there Something I thought might happen is that the winglet is hanging down below the bottom of the deck. Now, on this particular mower, there's really only one setting on, well, there's really two settings for the height that you put the blades on. It's not, it doesn't have all those interchangeable washers, just one big giant one there. That big, that big thing you see there is a spacer. And when that's on, which is the way you normally set it up, the uh, winglets, the teeth are sticking down 
below the bottom of the deck and which is sort of fine as long as you're aware of it but it can hook on your you could hook on your deck with your expanded metal deck as you're getting on and off the mower or on and off the uh, trailer sorry I'm at an odd angle here but I guess you have another option here I kind of mocked this up here to leave the spacer off you can see there takes your height of cut up about an inch inch and a quarter or however big that spacer is and that works I mean it bottoms out on the uh, uh, what is it called the bearing um, I'm not going to do that I'm just showing that as an option I'm going to put the spacer back in before I mow so anything you see me mowing here will be with the spacers in like those there I just wanted to mention that that does you see over here bring the winglet up under the deck if you wanted to do it that way um, but I'm just gonna be careful and do it that way so all right they're on there let's go play okay so here we are I've got a area here that looks like it's got a pretty good assortment of stuff to test with from the high grass to some stuff that's a little bit ridiculous and we'll just see what it does now if you're wondering what height I'm cutting at um, this all the way up the cheetah is five inches I think that what I'm gonna do because that tooth is sticking down like that oh, where is it can't find it there it is I'm gonna I'm gonna call that an inch and so normally I would cut stuff like this at about three inches so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it at four inches you know upside down four inches and so if you're wondering what's happening or what cut height I'm cutting at that's the height so we'll start like right here and then we'll work our way around
Okay, so what do you think about that? That was kind of crazy. I don't think I don't think I really would have gone into that with the uh, well, I don't know. I'm liable to go into that anyway with regular blades, but it is cutting better than gator blades. It's cutting better than anything I've ever used. Um, I was a little skeptical. I, I, wow. But it's definitely doing it. If you're wondering what I was bottoming out on here, there's some dirt here. And dirt will stop it. But um, John was talking about how well it mulches it up. And he's right. This is uh, amazing, really. Uh, here we go. So, you know, definitely bush hog, definitely a rough cut. But if you remember this area up here, up there by the truck, cut really nice as a uh, finish cut up there. Really kind of amazing. Anyway, um, I'll go try to find some more stuff to cut. I'm going to leave this just like it is. I can't cut the whole power trail. I'd like to. But, uh, yeah, certainly passes the test, John.
So here's a look at them after all that cutting over by the power trail. And I just wanted to show this just to verify that they're not all bent up. The 90 degree angle is still there. Very tough. Let me see if I can get in there on those. I can't see my screen. But I don't believe nothing feels out of balance. I don't think anything got knocked out of balance. And we certainly put them through torture test. Real torture test. Worse than I think I've really ever gone through. And it, it took it with no problem. I am definitely going to use these anytime I have to do some real rough cutting. They do much better than gator blades. Certainly much better than standard blades. It's really amazing how it kind of goes through it like butter. Uh, anyway, there's a look at the blades afterwards. I give them an A+. Absolute A+. I'm sorry to everybody that wants one right away. These are prototypes. As you can see, we've even got a kind of a defect on this one where a guide or something was running along the blade when sharpening it. But um, I don't think you can buy these yet, but everybody go to John's channel and bother the daylights out of him. Ask him questions and uh, he'll let you know. He's the one doing this. So I have that on the screen, I'm sure, and it's in the description and it will be on the end screen. So everybody go over there and uh, talk to him. Anyway, uh, I'm over here by the park now and I'm thinking I'm not done playing. I'm looking at this over here and I just gotta mow that. Just that. Then I'll stop.